You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, over the victims of the train collision that took place in the Soha Governorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his deepest condolences to the victims' families and wished the wounded a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Mustafa Medbouli. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Races, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness's Show Jumping Championship organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation was held with a wide participation from various distinguished stables and riders. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that those who follow show jumping championships in the kingdom are aware of the successful march of the sport which recently began reaping many external achievements, as these achievements are the product of the efforts of of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation with their local tournaments, which reflected positively on external participations. His Highness noted that the championship achieved many gains for the riders and stables, which is a great incentive for them to continue achieving positive results and getting to know the capabilities of the horses. He praised the role of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation members of the Show Jumping Committee and the Organizing Committee, wishing all riders success during the upcoming tournaments and congratulating the winners who achieved first places in all categories. The riders expressed their deep thanks and appreciation to his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his continuous support for this sport. In the presence of the chairman of the high authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 21st race of the season, which consisted of eight rounds and was held on the STC Cups, the late Sheikh Rashid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Cup, and the British Knights Club on the club race track in Al Rafah Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies and representatives of STC, the sponsor of the race. STC's CEO, Nizar Bunabila, presented the Bahrain Gold Cup to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Hamad bin Salman. Al Khalifa. He also presented the STC Cup for the seventh round to the winner Jabir Ramadan, while the Executive Vice President for Government Affairs at STC, Sheikh Ziad bin Faisal Al Khalifa, presented the fourth and sixth cups to Abdullah Fauzinas. The Head of Public Relations at STC, Jamal Al Sayyid, presented the STC Arabian Horse Cup to the winner Yusuf Tahar, an STC Cup for the second round to the winner James Naylor, while the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the late Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Cup to Abdullah Fauzinas, as well as the British Knights Club Cup to the winner Ibrahim El Afu.
The Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 22nd race of the season, which consisted of eight rounds and was held on the Arabian Horse Corporation for Equestrian Services Cup and the Tyless Plastic Factories Company Cup on the club's racetrack in Arafah Asghir. The CEO of Tyless Plastic Factories Company, Asam Al Jabri, presented the first half cup to the winner Yusuf Al Buainin and the second half cup to the winner Alan Smith, while the third half cup was presented to the winning rider Abdul Jalil Al Malla. And the cup of the fifth round was presented to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. As for the Arabian Horse Corporation for Equestrian Services, Zaid Hassan Al Madhu presented the fourth round cup to the winner James Naylor, while Sajjad Hassan Al Madhu presented the sixth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and Ali Hassan Al Madhu presented the seventh half cup to the winner Hisham Al Haddad. The Information Affairs Minister and Board of Trustees Chairman of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, chaired BIPD's board meeting held remotely in the presence of members and executive directors. Al Ramehi lauded BIPD's achievements over the past period. Despite the exceptional circumstances Bahrain and the world are going through due to the novel coronavirus COVID 19, stressing the importance of carrying on the implementation of the approved plans and programs, as well as to contribute effectively to the ongoing national efforts to mitigate the impacts of the pandemic. The board reviewed the programs implemented recently to support the comprehensive development project spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and achieve the BIPD's founding goals, including the development of the citizens' political awareness in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and the National Action Charter, as well as promoting parliamentary and municipal work in the Kingdom. The Board also discussed BIPD's 2021 budget and future action plans, stressing the importance of availing a modern technology in holding the upcoming events in accordance with the resolutions of Government Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and in line with the precautionary measures recommended by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The panel was briefed about the most important programs and events on the Institute's agenda, including a set of training and awareness activities for various target groups. The Board of Trustees also appreciated the efforts exerted by BIPD's executive management and the importance of continuing to strengthen cooperation with national institutions to contribute to raising democratic awareness among the target groups and improving their skills in the exercise of their tasks and responsibilities in a matter that supports the kingdom's democratic process and resolve to carry on its comprehensive national developmental march. The Red Bull driver Max Verstappen led the free practice tour, recording the fastest lap time with his start to Formula One preseason testing. McLaren are also having a fine showing in Sakhir as Lando Norris finished second on the classification while reigning world champion Lewis Hamilton came in third. The driver of the Chinese Uni Virtosi team, Guan Yu Zhu, will, will take off from the top of the main race of the opening round of the Formula Two World Championship, which will be held on Sunday, after leading the qualifying round. As a driver, David Beckham of the Shadows Racing team takes off the top in the first sprint race in the Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. In addition, the defending champion GB Seminar recorded the fastest time in the second free practice session of the Porsche Sprint Middle East Challenge, which was held under the lights of the Bahrain International Circuit. Fans attending the first day of this weekend's Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix were the first to witness an icon of Bahrain in a whole new light as the BIC Tower showed off its incredible new permanent video and lighting installation. This landmark of the kingdom, which today is one of the most recognizable structures in Bahrain, now rises from the Sakhir Desert, boasting a brilliant lighting and video facade wrapped around the eight-story building. In addition to providing an incredible show for fans of the circuit, the new lighting enhances the BIC Tower as a key visual element of the international television broadcast of the race. 
Bahrain Education and Training Quality Authority, the BQA, will hold its fourth conference under the patronage of Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, the SCDET, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The conference will be the th themed the future of education and training quality between global trends and local execution. The event will be organized virtually on March the 30th and 31st and will bring together 11 keynote speakers of specialists and academics from all over the world. The event will also witness active participation of strategic partners from regional and international national institutions as well as relevant parties from the education and training sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 471,927 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 245,481 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 7,846 with 479 recoveries and 829 registered new cases. 261 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 537 were contacts of active cases and 31 were travel related. The Ministry announced the death of a 55-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 today and expressed its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.